Hey guys, this is Fleep, and uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about something I've been working on uh, for the past two weeks or so. Um, it's a game, a 2D game, a fighting game, and uh, it's similar to Final Fight, which is an, uh, an arcade game that was released in the 90s. Uh, pretty cool, I think. And I played it last, I think, a few months ago, and that gave me the idea to write this, write this game. <coughs> So anyways, thing, first thing you see here is a bit of code, as you can see. <clears throat> the program is pretty, pretty um, recent still. I mean, I haven't, I haven't done that much to it yet. But uh, as you can see, some of the code here. And then I'll move on to running it. So as you can see, 173 lines. It's not that much, and um, you know, it's still in the kind of beginning, kind of area. <coughs> so I'll start by running it here. Oh shit! Sorry, I just made a mistake there. Probably pressed it a few times, but um, yeah. Here you go. So um, I noticed on the last recording I did that um, some some images go a bit weird. So that's that seems to be Cam Studios' fault. So sorry about that if that's happening. <clears throat> Anyways, um, as you can see here, by pressing the like the WASD keys, I can move the player. As you see up and down. And um, as you can tell, there's the uh, enemy there following him around wherever he goes, and then he stops him. So what I've got at the moment is a pretty basic system. There's nothing much special about it. Um, as you can tell by the backgrounds, it's, it's I stole these off all over the internet. Same with the characters because uh, I'm absolutely terrible at drawing and I'm not good at it. Um, so the point the point of this um, game is to uh, for me to learn, you know, how to pretty much code by myself and everything because I was previously doing a 3D game uh, first person shooter kind of game and um, I found myself stealing a lot of code from uh, other people and um, and yeah I ended up you know most of it was other people's work and I don't wanna I don't wanna um, do that because I don't see the point of it anyway so <clears throat> as you can see here uh, I'll show you a few things uh, the AI is really basic. They don't attack yet. They just simply move towards the player and stuff. But um, so first thing you can see here, there's a few attacks. As you can see by le doing the left mouse click, you can do a few punches and things. Um, and then you got the right mouse click for kicks, and then you can mix them together if you like. You go punch, kick, uh, punch, punch, kick, or uh, kick, punch, kick, or kick, punch, punch. You know, you got a lot of variations, and you've got th certain things like this, that, and then you go like that you can do some kicks um, and some pretty cool moves and then you can jump as well the jump isn't really that good yet I need to tweak it and stuff to make it look more real so you can jump and kick and then you can uh, uh, jump and punch as well as you can tell so I've got to work on the collision uh, the interaction between uh, the attacks and the enemies and stuff <coughs> as you can see um, you got different stages and stuff, and they're all taken from games such as uh, this one's Mortal Kombat, um, Street Fighter, like this one here. And as you can see, the maps have absolutely nothing to do with each other. So I'm hopefully I'll be able to get someone that works on the uh, on the maps and stuff uh, on stages, should I say? So yeah, um, other things. So. I pretty much have a lot to do uh, within the next few weeks, and I decided to make this update really to um, to kind of for me to check my progress and stuff. And um, I'll hopefully release a second part for this uh, in about a month, and uh, <coughs> you know to help me with my progress and stuff. Then uh, that way I see you know how much I've done, how much work I've done and stuff, and um, you know I can get some input from some people. Uh, on how this is going so if you think this is absolutely crap then um, I have absolutely no problem you telling me that that's exactly what it is so I'd appreciate if you think um, some things are really rubbish about it and that's fine but it, it, the game is really in its early stages and um, you know I don't expect to make money out of it as I probably wouldn't anyway I just um, mainly because I, st I stole every single uh, you know image but um, you know, just doing this because it's fun and stuff, and uh, I want to do it all my, by myself. So basically, um, as you can see here, most of my maps are really rubbish because I just scavenged them all over the place. But um, hopefully, I'll be able to get some some good ones soon. 
Um, what else is there? So, um, so showed you the kicks stuff like that. So you got punches. Um, there's 12 stages of roll at the moment, and uh, I'm hoping to do it. Leave the last one to um, to add a boss in and stuff. And the idea is kind of, as you see, this one's a really low resolution one, but uh, so I'll try and get rid of it. But the idea is to try and like have the main player get surrounded by enemies, and then give him no choice but to. Um, but to um, you know, kind of try and think of a clever way to take him out, not just like by constantly pressing, punching, and kicking and stuff. <coughs> also, I'm I'm planning on adding a rage mode, which will be something like um, you know, like when he when he does a certain amount of damage or when he takes a certain amount of damage, so that he you know um, he gets mad and he goes in rage mode, and you'll be able to add duckins and stuff, um, that kind of cool stuff. Anyway, um, so. If um, anyone watching this knows that uh, um, is any good at doing sprites or can do good textures, backgrounds, or you think you can do things like these, um, if you're interested, in, um, send me a message or whatever. Um, and uh, you know, I have absolutely no problem putting you on the top of the credits list because uh, I'm not really interested in that. I just want to make a good game and stuff. And um, yeah, as long as I do the programming myself, I don't really care. Um, also any input you guys uh, might want to give towards this um, game that would be appreciated if you think it's crap um, you know I'd like to know why is it crap if, if you think certain parts are good then let me know I'll, I'll, you know I'll make sure I keep them and stuff and um, I think I'll release another version uh, of this at least uh, you know once once I've got it half working I'll release a version I'll probably put a download link on the uh, second video you know f so hopefully people can test for bugs and things like that and uh, have some fun also if things go well I'll, I'll make a you know I'll try and add the network thing side to it you know to have co-op and stuff and multiple people playing at the same time but that is pretty unlikely um, I think that's about it really um, this this has been pretty straightforward I'm sure anyone that's worked with um, at least Dark Basic Pro and 3D will, will do the same that I did here pretty easily um, but um, I'm kind of trying to learn it for myself and stuff, and um, not copy other people's code. So, so yeah, um, that's about it. Then, thanks for watching. If you've got any, uh, you know, uh, hints towards the game or any feedback, uh, that'll be cool. See so, ya. Yeah.